this is how I think about it, really. It's just like, I feel like I, I, that's all I cared about. And somewhere between 18 and like 23, I don't know when exactly, uh -huh. but I feel like I finished. Run away, run away, my sweet babe, why you can't? Run away, why you can't? Run away, run away, run away, my sweet babe, why you can't? Run away. You know, it's like, I know who I am now. And it's really cool. So the events or anything else, all that comes from just like extra energy that I feel like I've just been gifted. It's like, oh, cool. It's like, oh, I figured out life kind of like I'm I'm sort of relaxed, you yeah. know, like I get to I, I have my stuff with making music or, or, you know, businesses and stuff. I can always do that. So it's just like. Yeah, there's a. Um... Super awesome, uh, Gardopia Gardens. Oh man, this is great! Another round of applause for Gardopia Gardens. Um, and then they also have a donation thing. Actually, if someone could grab that for me really quick. I just want to like leave it right. Is that too much? Am I being extra? I'm not being extra. <laughs> we'll just put it right here. That way, if you have a, if you if you want to like drop some money and you want to, I mean, it's really only if you think that gardening is important. Like, if you think vegetables are important, if you don't, that's that's it's not for you. But if you're the kind of person, no, I'm just joking. I don't need to strong arm you. But definitely, uh, I just saw the donation jar, so I just wanted to move it there and make it easier, just in case that's something you were about. All of it goes to Gardopia Gardens. Um, so. You don't have to worry about me using it to subsidize my poetry <laughs> habit. Um, I'm going to read one poem because I do have my, my book of poems. And then Mr. Composition also has his books um, back there and his CDs. So definitely check those out if you're into it. He's about to come perform, so you'll see what he's about. I have six books that I wrote here tonight. Actually, I have seven. I have seven, and there's, there's five more, eight, six more coming out. Um, so this is the newest one. It's called Motherland. I'm going to read it. And I also painted all the covers so I did this cover. But I'm going to read this book. It's called I Felt This Poem. It's called I Felt It Fade. How do you know if it's love and not just changing ambulance of lesser gods without power except perseverance, smudge, and having lost gleaming loyalty? It's a short one. It's a short one. So I talk a lot about a lot of stuff with my limited knowledge. Um, thank you guys so much for coming out. We're going to close out the show. What's up, fam? It's uh, 5 o'clock in the morning. Not super early. Um, but um, I just... Um, wanted to record this moment because I realized it's somewhat special. I just dropped um, a little album uh, of poetry called Acapella. It's called Acapella because uh, there's no music or anything behind the poems and uh, I like to put music behind poetry but this was a collection that um, you know I just wanted to put out the raw recordings and I'm putting out remixes with some of them with some music behind them but I think just the raw thing is cool with poetry um and uh yeah i hope that you enjoy them uh, i dropped it only on Bandcamp. um i feel hey jack johnson's coming back this year i'm coming <laughs> with a new album and uh, it seems pretty random but this is actually um, a group of a group of stuff that i recorded um not really recently, actually, and so, fairly recently, um, but not this year, not last year, and, uh, but it's a really special recording, I remember putting a lot of, um, effort into it, and, um, the poems, um, are really cool, so I hope that you will, I know you might notice that I don't spend, like, hours making certain decisions um, when I put my stuff out, you know, uh, and a lot of that is because where I come from when I make it is a, uh, it's a very special place, and I trust that. Uh, I'm going to say this is what, what I wrote as my description. Um, I love creating imagery in, the, in people's minds. I put the people's minds. I'm going to change that. I create imagery in people's minds because when I imagine something and I see it strongly in vivid experience, I find it fascinating that I can share the framework for that power with someone else and they will fill it with their power. 
And that's what I feel like poems are, you know, like I'm feeling something really strong. It's really true and really accurate for me. And um, I know that sometimes the words don't probably translate, like different things change. But I feel like when I write a poem, I'm creating a framework. And that framework is what I pass to someone else. And actually, each person experiences that poem for themselves because they feel it with the most powerful thing what's inside them, you know, their soul. So your soul, when you read it, you're checking it out, you're filling it with you. And I appreciate that. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, I mean, if you watched it, I'm, I, I'm, this one I'm not really making for anyone to watch. It's kind of just like, this is an interesting moment. I'm dropping this, um, this uh, album and I want to share that. So here it is. What do you want one day at one day? Yeah. this weekend? This I'm actually going to get a whole necklace of like this. That? Yeah. Mr. Composition Hunter. It's been a long week. It's Saturday. Saturday. So, uh, Saturday night about 10 o'clock. Usually, I know everyone thinks everything is all work, but usually by midnight, all work is done. Actually, pretty strictly. Um, <laughs> and then Sunday is going to be a little bit of relaxing. I'm not going to be able to sleep really much. I have to sleep early because I'm going to be leaving at 12 a.m. to go to Los Angeles um, to go handle some affairs, and then I'm coming back with the, anyway, whatever, GLK, and there's so many cool things coming up, and, um, me and Mr. Conversation just wanted to hang out with you in this moment, because we're having a cool moment, so we thought we'd share it with you, what's your cool moment, what are you kind of, uh, what are you excited for the future about, because you have to be excited for the future about something, or do you believe that you have to be excited about something? Man. I'm excited for the the possibilities, the possibilities. I've been hearing a lot of dope stuff, and there's been a lot of self-reflecting and things that have been uh, confirming a lot of my thoughts. And, you know, there's a lot I've been allowing myself to kind of, you know, blow with the wind. And sometimes that's all fine and dandy, but sometimes you can get carried off in the wind and um, you got to ground yourself, you know, um, it's very interesting that my astrology signs are, my air sign is sandwiched between two earth signs. So, you know, like my, my sun sign is an earth sign, it's a Capricorn, my moon sign is an earth sign, it's a Taurus, I mean a Virgo, um, but my rising sign is an air sign which is a Libra. And so there's a lot of dope concepts and systems um, that have been, you know, reconfirming. There was this guy that uh, we were watching, 19 Keys. He had a super dope insight and he was all like, you know, stop reacting to success and interact with opportunities. And he was breaking down this word reacting. And, you know, you think of acting like a play and a movie and things like that. And when you're acting, you're, you're playing a part. So when you're reacting, you're continuing to play that part over and over. And some people play that part of the victim or they play that part of the poor person or they play that per part of, uh, you know, uh, a successful part, whatever it is, whatever you're reacting and reacting to, and what do you react and do? Yeah, you know. So it's, peace, um, patience. Exactly. Those are those are super cures.